you know, just when I, you, just when you, no. And we have another terrible freaking movie this year. Secret Obsession is a psychological thriller from Netflix. It stars Brenda Song. And the plot of Secret Obsession, I'm just going to be as simple about it as I can be because there is literally no reason for me to go in full detail with this movie. Jennifer wakes up with amnesia after a traumatic attack and her dutiful husband is taking care of her and she has no memory of what happened. But she soon realizes that the danger is far from over. Like I said, that I'm just going to be as simple about this movie as I want to be because you don't, you do not need to waste your time with Secret Obsession because Secret Obsession is complete garbage. It baffles my mind that I already, already, I have 14 bad movies for the worst of 2019. I'm pretty sure before I'm gonna end this is gonna end up being the top 20 worst off so if it is it'll that would be the that that actually be the first for an annual so almost everything in this movie is terrible the only things slightly you got going for you with secret obsession is Brenda Song's performance. Br Brenda Song, we haven't seen her in a movie or in something in a long time. So it was good to see Brenda Song in another movie again. She's still attractive, she's still beautiful. And she fits her part well. Mike Vogel, he does good in his part. Even though he is a hit and miss at most parts of this movie. Dennis Haysbert is also really good. Dennis, ha if you, D Dennis Haysbert is a great actor. Waiting to Excel, the Allstate commercials, Think Like a Man too. I don't like that movie, but he was good in it. He was one of the few good things I could give Think Like a Man too. And also some of the direction and some of the music is is, is actually pretty solid. The story, on the other hand, is the exact story we have seen many times before and we'll see many times again. It's very predictable how this movie is going to play out from the beginning to the end. Girl gets into a brutal attack. She she wakes up and with amnesia. She, memories start coming back to her. She has to try to stay alive from the one who is supposed to be protecting her, who is actually trying to kill her. That's pretty much what you're looking at here. Also, no, another negative is the, sim, the way this movie is shot and the way this movie is edited. This, is, this film is shot in a way that is like... It's not bad cinematography, it's just not very great cinematography. Also, the one, the for, this movie is for a Netflix movie. This is one of their most boring Netflix films. The film is an hour and something minutes long, and it shows because secrets. Because there are many points in this movie where I was just sitting there, not really caring about anything that was going on at all, and. I found myself quite bored.
and the the ending of and the ending of this movie is is hour and thirty seven minutes long and the ending is not really that great. Is also pretty boring. There. At the end of the day, not much more to say on Secret Obsession except for don't waste your time. I'm gonna give this I'm gonna give this movie a rare box rental. And it, and it's lucky I'm giving it that. Let me know what you guys think of Secret Obsession down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? I will see you guys in the next one. You guys keep cool. Join the epitaphs.